inside. Good evening. Hello, Rafael. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, teacher. And, and you? Doing great. Happy Thanksgiving. Ah, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Me too. Yeah, I was just arriving <laughs> from the dinner. And I was just Do you like... eat uh, turkey? Yes. As I told you yesterday, as my mother-in-law, it's, it's an American citizen, uh, we celebrate every year so well, as soon as i came from work i was helping my my sister-in-law with the cooking and all that so i just finished and i said bye 
and I run to yeah. my house. But we live close. I mean, we live like five houses from from her house. So I was just like nice <laughs> escaping. She, she live here. She lives here now, but she lived in the United States for many years. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, she lived like fifteen or twenty years. Yep, there. Twenty years. Twenty years. She lived there for twenty years, and so she has all these traditions, very attached to her, and and I like it. I mean, I I, I really like this celebration more than Halloween or any other one. So I was in the social sharing of the night. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, I was like, when all the family says like, hey, ahí está la Nati, ven y te vemos. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> busquen la lista en YouTube, ahí me ven todas las noches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was just like sharing there. But it was, it was a nice dinner. We cooked turkey and salad and cake and many things. But it was... It was nice. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Raul, Aleida. How are you? Magdiel, Mr. Jose Luis. Hello, teacher, Nothing. Mr. Hello, Hernan. Teacher. I enjoy your videos, people. Today I had a lot of fun watching your Good YouTube morning. videos. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Magdiel. Did you enjoy your day off? Yes. Yeah, you look very fresh and, <laughs> and, and well rested. Yes. Se le ve descansado ahora. I and was it, relaxing. Yeah, it, it is it is funny that when you have the day off, you do all the things that you don't do in the in the other days. Right? Yes. Yeah, I my... got up I got up late. Ah, really? <laughs> That's so yes. nice. That's so nice that you got up late. Yeah, my husband is like every time he has like he he is hearing my day off. I am like, let's go to to the supermarket, go to get the water, go to get this, <laughs> go to get that, and he's like, coming, going, and he's like, gosh, <laughs> it's your day off, but not my day off. I said, like, he he doesn't have a a day off. No, I mean he as <laughs> as he works with his brother. I mean, they have a, a, a printing company. Uh, so they work almost every day, right? And oh, yeah. in, in during this season, they do calendars and stuff and many things for many uh, cooperativas and things. So they are very busy, right? But but when we uh, when I have my day off, I say like, ah, I stay here. <laughs> and he stays to do all the chores. Me dice, ¿crees que me quede para que yo haga todos los mandados? Like, eh, eh. <laughs> Como lo supo. Eh? Yes, yes. <laughs> sí, sí, por favor, gracias. Well, okay. yes, but it, it, I, am, I am happy that you had a, a very good day off today. Well, eh, I hope that you enjoyed. I sent you a lot of questions today. I, I was laughing, stealing uh, stickers there. Yo disfruto robarme sus stickers, así que every new sticker that you sent, like, <laughs> I stole yours today. I, I saw Rafael and I was like, oh, and I imagine your face on the sticker. That was the most, like, the funniest mm. part. I, I, I like the, the stickers of this kind of, of pictures. No. The, the garabato. Yeah, the the floor. I I like floor. He's one of my favorite. Uh, I steal your your sticker. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot. I have a lot, a lot, but a lot of stickers, right? I will send you a couple <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> there are, I have I have a lot. I think I have like five thousand or more. Yes, I, it is like my friends are very creative, and also the students because they are they are really funny when they say like hey teacher this and that and they send me stickers there because they know that i like them so it's like i, I collect them so when i saw it all confused i said like <laughs> that's the face of rafael I said. 
all confused, but it is good. I sent you the, the collection of, of questions because you can have a variety for you to choose. I mean, for you to, to think about different forms. And in each question, you have the opportunity to actually practice a, a, different, a, a different pattern or something different about the about the past tense. So that's why I, I really like that practice. And uh, I, well, I, I, in fact, I have a complete book that it's called 500 Grammar Questions. And it is divided, the book that I have is divided with the, the little explanation of grammar. This is the one that I sent you, right? So I have the little explanation of grammar for each topic. I have, for example, this one that says simple past, and it has the explanation of simple past, and then it has uh, questions to practice the topic. So uh, if any of you is interested in, in the PDF, I can send it to you. And it has all the questions related to the topic. Then you have simple present, for example, and then you have all the questions that you can practice for simple present. So it is a very interactive book. I really love it. And that's why I decided to use this one, right? In the simple past questions, you can uh, practice each of them because in each of them, you are going to practice different verbs, different patterns, different vocabulary. So that's why I told you to get one for the speaking section. And I need you to choose one because Today we are going to work in mini groups and you are going to actually share one answer, right? So uh, <clears throat> tomorrow you are going to do the same. You have to choose one from these ones for the audio and we're going to use another one for the class, right? As it is Black Friday, you're going to choose two. Van a coger dos por ser Black Friday. So uh, you are going to share one in class today, uh, one of these ones, right? And for sure, the one that uh, some of you already sent on the audio. And that's how we are going to be practicing with this one. And it is a, it is a very good, it's a very, very good practice that you can use for the past tense, right? It helps a lot. So yesterday we were working a little bit on the conversations. We were working on the practice of the verbs. So we are going to finish with that today. And um, we are also going to practice on the book, right? We're going to practice on your book as well for you to finish the manual. And uh, as we are about to finish with the classes as well, on Monday, we have the, we have the survey. Don't forget it. I don't know if you already received it. No sé si ya se las enviaron o todavía no. No. Ah, ok. Entonces creo que se las van a enviar ya sea mañana o el lunes. Pero si se las envían, no la llenen porque la llenamos en clase. Ok. So, okay. yes. That is going to be for Monday. Ok. That is going to be for Monday. And eh, on Monday as well, we are going to have another mini presentation activity that eh, you will be, you will check it out. Ok. I'm going to explain it to you tomorrow. And I am going to give you a little preview of this one. That is going to be our last activity for the classes. And I think that will be it for us. And for sure, uh, for Monday, everything on the platform should be finished, right? Toda la plataforma tiene que estar terminado para tratar de terminarlo para el día de mañana. Si no lo han terminado todavía, vimos la unidad cuatro el otro día y se fijaron que estaba bastante sencilla, así que eh, si la pueden terminar y trabajarla, igual los exámenes finales son un repaso de los exámenes que están en la unidad 4, también están bastante sencillos, igual los vamos a estudiar el lunes, ese día también este, vamos a completar todo. Hernán, dígame. Eh, sí, teacher, lo que todavía no han mandado es la notificación para las nuevas inscripciones, Ah, good, 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 good. So you can mention that in the group, right? You can mention that in the group. So the ones in charge of English Corporativo can uh, keep uh, an eye on that and can remind you about that because that is something that they uh, personally control. I am going to remind them 
but it will be very good if you send a reminder on the group, ¿ok? Yo igual les voy a hacer la mención a ellos, pero siempre es bueno si ustedes eh, también hacen la pregunta eh, a los administradores del grupo, los que están ahí, o creo que ustedes también tienen un contacto, ¿verdad? Yes, uh -huh. in my case today, they sent me an, an email ah, okay. to, to notify that the next model start the next year in January. In January, the next module for, for two hours, right? De yes. los módulos de dos horas. Porque creo que en estas últimas semanas de diciembre, si no me equivoco, solo hay módulos de una hora. So try to, try to inf get, get informed, okay? Get informed about it. Yeah, try to try to get informed. Infórmense con ellos precisamente porque eh, no sé si ustedes tienen la, la posibilidad de entrar a los módulos de una hora. No sé en realidad si, si este puede tener esa flexibilidad a su curso, pero eh, siempre es bueno preguntarle, preguntarle directamente a ellos. Y pues si les mandan el correo y todo, pues también ahí informarnos, a ver qué. ¿Qué sucede? Porque sí sé que las últimas semanas son solo para los módulos de una hora. Así que, este, para que estemos todos en el track, ahí vea. Si no van a pero, tener una gran vacación. Sí, pero llevando la secuencia, teacher, o sea, de, de estos módulos, eh, oficialmente sería hasta en enero, entonces. Sí, porque como recuerde que Insafor tiene un cierre de de sí. horas, ¿verdad? entonces no entra en las horas desde aquí hasta, no, al menos que ahí sí se nos cumple el chiste aquel de que vamos a comer el 24 de diciembre juntos, ¿verdad? porque okay. no, no quedan las horas en las, en las que faltan para terminar el año lectivo, así que eh, esperemos a ver qué nos dicen si a Raúl ya le dijeron que es el último pues, it might be pero tal vez Vacation, vacation. Teacher, pero el siguiente ya sería intermedio, ¿verdad? Yes. Lo, no, preintermedio. Vamos, eh, básico, preintermedio, de ahí intermedio, de ahí preavanzado y avanzado. ¿Y cuánto nice. es cada uno? Depending. It has different, it has different eh, modules. Hay, it, tiene diferentes eh, módulos. Algunos tienen seis, algunos tienen cinco. Depending on the, on the level, yes? I'm sorry, I, in, in, the, in the last meeting when the, the, las personas que están administrando los grupos hablaron de eso, mm -hmm. dijeron que habían tres secciones, eh, básico, intermedio y avanzado. Cada, mod, cada sección tenía seis módulos. Ah, okay, so they change it already. But most of the time it's like pre-intermediate, yeah. then intermediate. Ajá, es que then... yo tenía entendido que eran como 15 meses. Y ya llevo un año aquí, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you see, it, it is nice. You see, it is very curious, and that's a question that many people ask for, uh, also in the, in the learning center that I work. Because, for example, in the place that I work, in the, in the academy, the basic level... It's 10 months. And they say, like, but why, teacher, why 10 months? Because that's the most important part of the English language, where you construct your knowledge, where you build up everything. Because later on, and I know about many academies that they say, no, three months for basic. And then they send it to you to pre-intermediate. And in pre-intermediate, you have a lot of mistakes that are very basic. And they say, y eso lo tendrías que haber aprendido en básico. And they say, when? In which moment? In three months? Hello. <laughs> and English, English is so wide and so sure. varied that the basic part of it has to be very well set. That's why I am always bothering you with pronunciation. Okay? Por eso siempre los estoy molestando. Que la pronunciación, que no sé qué, que la entonación, que hay que leer bien, que haga pausas. So, because those mistakes cannot go with you to the next level. Because later they say, who was your teacher in the previous level? And you are like, me. <laughs> And you didn't correct them. And it's like, no, I tried to do it, right? Yo por eso ahí los ando fregando, ahí los ando poniendo a que trabajen, a que repitan, a que repasen, a que hagan, que produzcan. Because I need you to produce for the next modules, right? Mejor que me digan, hey, 
estos bichos sí que exigen, vea. A que me digan, estos bichos están bien relajados, me. Ni hacen nada. Mejor lleguen exigiendo los otros niveles. That's sí, the sí. important part. Yes. I feel the this model is like a review of the other model. In men, yes, and it is curious because this one, as maybe it is the last one, it has simple present, present continuous, it has simple past and a little bit of future. It has the four tenses. It yeah. was indeed a, a like a kind of a, re, a review of all the different tenses, because as you have seen, we have gone through all that. Fuimos desde el presente simple, pasado eh, simple, presente con eh, progresivo, un poquito de the future, un poquito de models. So it was a little bit of a little bit of all the important parts of English. So going back to the topic. Yesterday we started working on the book and um, we were reviewing some. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. We reviewed some of the conversations on it. We were practicing also a conversation in the book about Chuck and uh, Melissa, I think it was. And we did a little bit of the introduction for. Uh, the trainings, right? We were practicing was and were in this conversation. And it, this, is what, this is what we were studying a little bit. This past tense of be, right? Was and were. And we were working on the paragraph about Maria, who went to a training in Guatemala. And uh, let me see, Mr. Hernan, can you remind us a little bit about the paragraph? Let me just move this. Help me with the paragraph, please. Mr. Hernan. Hey, Marty went to a training in Guatemala last Thursday. And the training, it was interesting because she's learning how to fix the equipment she used and who to pre preview damage and damage on it. The present was really helpful and the clarifier all the but. Mari had to use a computer to present example during this speech. Thank you very much. Let's see, uh, Blanquita, can you help me to read it, please? Okay, teacher. Mari went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she used and how to prevent damage on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary, all doubts Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. Very good job. Thank you. Let me see. Mr. Raul, can you help me, please? Yes. Uh, it, uh, what part is teacher? Sorry. This one. Ah, oh. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> Welcome back. Ah, ya ven por qué no me enamoré. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, Mary went to a training in Guatemala last uh, th uh, Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she used and how to prevent damage on it. The present was really helpful and he clarified all, all um, doubts that we had. And he used a computer to present example during the speech. Very good job. Thank you very much. Mr. Jose Luis, go ahead. I cannot listen to you, sweetie. Mary, Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she used and how to prevent damage on it. The presenter was really helpful and clarified all those 
Mary Hub. Mary Hub. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. Very good. Thank you very much. And last but not least, Carla Flores. Go ahead. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last twist, twist, Tuesday. And the training was interesting because she learning how to fix the equipment, equipment she uses and how to prevent damage on, on it. The present was really helpful and he clarif clarified her doubt. Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the, the speech. Thank you very much. Can you identify where are our pronunciation problems, people? And we all match the same problem, as you can see here. What was the main the main problem was? Interesting. 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 It's interesting. In oh English, in English, we don't have accents, right? In English, we don't have a stress. Right, but we have the strongest part of the voice in certain parts of the word. For example, uh, I was marking with different color every person. And as you can see, interesting has a lot of problems. Equipment, right? Equipment, presenter, clarified, doubts, damages, right? Uses. In some cases, we eat the letters. And that's a problem from Spanish. Si no, mírenos a nosotros ahí andando por el mundo diciendo verdad. ¿Verdad que sí? Universidad. Ciudad. We eat letters in Spanish. <laughs> and that's like, yeah, teacher, it's me. <laughs> it happens, right? It happens a lot. Fuiste. Fuiste. And in some cases, we don't add, but we don't eat, but we add. Lo viste. Lo hiciste, right? We say, va que sí. Va que sí. <laughs> <laughs> pues sí. And in San Miguel, pues sí. We, we kill the language. We kill Spanish. And in some cases, we do the same with English. Because the third person pronunciations is the most common mistake that we say. She used and how to prevent damage. Right? She uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified, right, with the past tense, all doubts Mary had. Another problem that it's very common is that we don't finish the sentences, right? Maria went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. Hasta aquí tendría que haber parado. You don't say Maria or Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. No. So you say, Mar Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday, and you stop. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. That's the second sentence. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it and you stop. Hasta aquí va a parar, porque hasta ahí está el punto. The presenter was really helpful. Aquí tenemos una coma. So we have a short stop. The presenter was really helpful, and he clarified all doubts Mary had. And you have the stop here. He used the computer to present examples during the speech, and you stop here. Pronunciation. <clears throat> it is not interesting, it's interesting. Go with me. Interesting. 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 The training was interesting. The training was interesting. The training was interesting because she learned. The training was interesting because she learned. The, the training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment. The training was interesting because she learned the training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. 
The training, the training was interesting. Ya ven que bonito se oyen cuando leen correctamente. You sound beautiful, I mean, and, and you sound good. Ustedes se escuchan y dicen, qué bonito me oigo. Teacher, qué bonito, right? Uh -huh. I have a question. In, in, in the case the word interesting is because the letter E is mute. Interesting. Well, it, that's a pronunciation. And in most of the cases, the E is mute, right? Say so interesting. The, The second E. Ajá, this, this one. Dice interesting. ¿Por qué esta no la menciona? Porque se, se es como interesting. Interesting. Ah, I got it. I, I think the, the, the next E is the mute. No, because if you mute the second one, you say interesting. Okay. Ahí, ahí es donde se nos arruina la pronunciación. So you say the training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. It's like favorite. La palabra favorite. ¿Qué dice todo mundo? Favorite. 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 That's, that's another. The letter A again. Yeah, favorite. 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 My favorite movie, you say. But that's another another lecture. So we are going to practice it, and you are going to go in the extra mile on this one, but we're going to practice first. Let's practice the first sentence, right? Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. Mary, Mary went, went to a training, training in Guatemala, Guatemala last Tuesday. Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned- in Guatemala last Tuesday. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Teníamos un internet explorer aquí. Okay, yeah, <laughs> and we are, in, we are on track. Let's go. Rafael, one, two, three. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. Mary went, went to a training, training in Guatemala, Guatemala last Tuesday. 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 Wednesday. 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 Thursday. 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 Friday. 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 Saturday. Saturday. Sunday. 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 Like a, a ice cream. <laughs> ice cream like Sunday. Okay. Saturday. 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 Okay. Saturday. You, don't, you don't say Saturday. 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 No. Cada vez, Saturday. Que decimos, cada vez que decimos Saturday, se muere un diccionario. <laughs> no, please don't kill the dictionaries. Okay. Uh, Llora el niño Jesús. Please don't do it. En el pesebre. <laughs> en el pesebre, yeah. Cada vez que ustedes dicen favorite, llora el niño Jesús. Don't do, don't do that. Don't be bad human. <clears throat> Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. Mary went, Mary went to, to a training, training, training in Guatemala last Tuesday. Guatemala. This training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The training was interesting because she learned to fix it and she used how to prevent damage on it. The presenter was really helpful. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. And he clarified all doubts Mary had. All doubts. All doubts. All doubts. And he clarified all doubts Mary had. And he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used a computer to prevent. Uh, to prevent. <laughs> Whack. He used a computer. He used he used a computer to present examples during the speech. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. Okay. Now imagine that you are sharing the gossip about Mary, right? Cuéntenme el chambre. ¿Qué pasó con la Mary? 
So you say, teacher, Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really useful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. Imagine. <laughs> so try to practice. Apagen el micrófono and do it. Practice, 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 and practice. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used computer to present examples during the speech. Practice, practice, and practice. Practice again, practice again, practice again. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. Get your cell phone and record a voice note and send it there. My voice note is there already. Agarre su teléfono. Abre el WhatsApp y mande la nota de voz. Go ahead. Yo ya les mandé la mía. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. No la borre, Lenilson, no la borre. Es que no me está, no sé si me Ajá. escucha. Ya, ya. Lo que pasa es que no me, no sé, no, no me grabó nada. Ah, ok. Entonces, ahorita la hago otra vez. Go ahead. Voy a quedar en tu conciencia. We're evil, but I like it. I know. Y <laughs> Chorigan, no sé cómo hacer para grabarle el, el, el WhatsApp porque no me deja leerla, o sea, está bien como que no me deja hacer las dos cosas al mismo tiempo okay. sáquele una captura de pantalla o okay. le voy a enviar la foto espérame ahí voy let me send the picture on the group everybody is bullying me ok it's ok Diosito. Oh my God. Sorry, Elenilson. I have the men, the men and I can, I need to use. <laughs> it was the moment, right? Yes. You got, you got five seconds more. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Okay, thank you. I keep receiving them. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank 
Thank you, thank you. You can listen to yourself to see if you made the mistakes that we were talking about. So you will say, hey, I said interesting, hush. <laughs> Lo siento, teacher, no sé qué pasa con mi micrófono, que no me graba nada. Uh, ¿Será que lo tienes conectado con el, con el teléfono también? ¿Será que el, el, tiene los audífonos conectados? No, ya se los quité, pero igual así, no, directo, no, no sé por qué no grabo. Ok, so at the end of the class, maybe you can restart the phone and then you can, you can try to do it uh, as well, ok? Okay, you, can, you can do it later. Lo Don't mismo worry. me pasó a mí, teacher. Ahorita que le quise mandar el, el audio, lo hice, pero no, no tiene nada. It's because as the, uh, the Zoom is using your microphone. So in some cases, when Zoom is using the microphone, it doesn't allow the other apps to use the microphone as well. So it's a pretty picky thing. So you have oh, to be, okay. yeah, Zoom is very picky. <laughs> and it's like, I am using it, so you cannot use it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. That's the meaning of peaky. Peaky is like delicadito, right? It's like, ay. Licencia yeah. para robar stickers. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I, 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 I just imagine. But I am glad, and I think people uh, should be very glad that we are using the group a lot. We are using yes. the group a lot. There are many groups that I have been, well, all the groups that I am part of work a lot. They send things and they practice and they do many things. But there are some groups on which people don't do much. Solo es enterado, entendido. Gracias. So it's like, we use the group a lot. We have fun. We have a, a mini family there. That would be sure. good. Yes. I will send you a sticker and that you you will be that that cat <laughs> and you will send that every time that we uh, didn't di don't pronounce don't pronounce well a word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> send it to be send it to my my personal chat, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. So I I can have it privately. <laughs> so it is good. And why did I ask okay. you to send um, <clears throat> the voice note? So after I ask you, after you practice, after I correct it, you shouldn't be making the mistakes, in, the mistakes anymore. So you shouldn't be saying eh, damages or damages or damages or eh, Prevent, right? You say prevent damages on it, right? The presenter, no, you say the presenter was really helpful and he clarified with the D sound all doubts Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech, right? Interesting. So you shouldn't be making the mistakes anymore because we have been practicing. And if you made a mistake, don't erase it, send it again, okay? Because if not, they are going to bully you a lot if you erase it. So don't erase it, send it again. It doesn't matter, right? WhatsApp no pone límite de notas de voz, so don't worry. No cobran, no ponen límite, so don't worry. You can do it again and again and again. So no problem. And here, these questions, we answered them the other day, but I wanted you to practice. And I chose this one because it was small. Because here on my presentation, I have three readings that are a little bit bigger than this one, but we're going to use them right now just for uh, information and practice, okay? I have three readings right here. And I have three different people. I have Kelly, I have Robert, and I have Erin. And in, the, in these three cases, we have information about what happened on the weekend, right? I'm going to make it bigger for us to go over each of them. And we are going to read about them. We're going to read about Kelly. We're going to read about Robert and about Eddie. Eddie, that is the last person. So 
These ones are going to be for information, right? Don't panic that you are going to send them on a voice note. No, if you want to do it, go ahead. For me, no problem. So for Kelly, Kelly says, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents, ahí está su karma, her parents served a wonderful meal. I am really happy for her and I really like her husband. In the good way, okay? He's like, ay, qué bonito tu esposo, right? <laughs> Here in El Salvador, he's like, ah, a nombre. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. And Erin says, I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. These three are a little bit more challenging, right? But if you want to practice them and send them, go ahead. For me, no problem to listen to your beautiful voice notes to practice. So here I have Kelly, Robert, and Erin. Choose one. Practice. And you are going to volunteer to read them. Do you have questions on pronunciation? Ask me first, okay? Este es el momento para que hagan sus preguntas. Teacher, how do you pronounce eh, this one? No sé si ustedes tienen la opción, pero yo, al menos yo tengo la opción del el lápiz para que puedan marcarlo. Si tienen la opción del lapicito, pueden marcar las palabras. So I can help you with pronunciation. If not, send it on the chat. Teacher, how do you pronounce this? Or tell me, teacher, how do you pronounce awful? Uh, uh, awful, the second one, teacher, the first one, and I'm going to help you. Awful. Awful means more than horrible. Nelson, me, tell me. Go ahead. How do you pronounce cough? Which one? Uh, cough and the last. Uh huh. Ah, I caught. I caught a fish. Ah, here you are. I caught. Uh, caught. I caught. Yeah, cough is like <laughs> toss. <laughs> toss. Okay. Cough is toss. Better has he. And what is the meaning of tent? Tent is tienda de campaña. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, we build up. Thank you. First, we put up the tent. Put up uh, is armar. We put up the tent. Okay. The tent. Teacher, yes. Thank I you. understand uh, something. Mm -hmm. You say cough is a. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Eh, Erin tosió un pescado. <risa> no, sweetie. Cough, lo que me estaba preguntando eh, Nelson, y se lo mandé al chat. <risa> Cough. Para mí es agarrar. Uh, no, no, no. Yes, pero yes. Yo les envié The lo, pronunciation. Que, lo que Nelson me estaba preguntando, ah. se los envié en el chat. ¿Qué es cough? Cough es <risa> toser. Pero cut, cut es oh. atrapar. Cut. Yeah. Right, we went fishing. I caught a fish, you say. I caught a fish. Yo tosí un pescado. Y por eso yo dije, eso es normal, tipo. ¿Qué es eso? Y tosí un pescado. Eso es normal, ¿no? Hay gente que Estaba trozonando el pescado. Ya. Dándole respiración boca a boca. How do you say espinas de pescado? The spikes. Spikes. Ay, the spikes, yes. yeah, the spikes. Spice. The spikes. Okay, so I caught a fish, you say, I caught. El de la tos se los envié en el chat, que es cough. I, I am coughing a lot. So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, you have it on the, on the chat. <laughs> Thank you for sending me. <laughs> 
so many stickers. Oh my God. <laughs> Raul, Raul, that's the best example of cough. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> my God, people, you are so creative. Oh my goodness, you are so creative. Yeah, even Chepirito is here. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, me descuido un segundo y ya. Uh, the chat is full of stickers. Okay, but that's cool. I love it. That's very nice. Uh, okay, so that's the, the difference. Any other question on pronunciation? Do you want me to read the three of them again? Yes, no? Uh, what's the meaning of throw? Uh, in which first, uh, second, or third? The third. Uh, we left on Saturday and drove the campsite. Ah, and drove to the campsite. Drove is the past tense of drive. Drive. Uh, and drove to the campsite, right? We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. The campsite is el campamento, right? El lugar de yes. para acampar. Have you ever go camping, people? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Yeah. It's a fun history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. My friends, we have three tents. We have three tents and all of us are going to sleep nice. Two of them were ruined. So when we end up sleeping in one tent and we were like 10 people. It was ah, 10 people. 10 people in one tent, in una tienda, todos. It was, was so, <laughs> I, that was horrible. And it was so cold because it was very cold. And we were like, como cuando ordenas los tamales en el topper, así, todos de lado, para que quepan. We were sleeping exactly like that. And when someone said, me quiero no, mover. Están vestidos. <laughs> me quiero mover, they say. So we say, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time it was so uncomfortable that you cannot imagine but they say like the same time. everybody at the same time no i said i am sorry but me and my and my anxiety cannot sleep here so i went out right yeah did you camping in pital mountain i went to the i went to pital but we also went here in 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 this side of I, I don't Monte Cristo. No, we, I have been in Monte Cristo as well. In El Pital, I have been. Arcatao. In, no, I haven't gone there. La Casa de Cristal. In Cerro Verde, huh? In La Casa de Cristal. Mm. That's a beautiful oh, place. It's a beautiful place, yes. It I is went a beautiful. The last month. Llano de Muerto is beautiful too. Well, no, I haven't that. gone there. No. Near from in the. Morazán. El Rio Sapo. Mm. In Morazán. Yes. yes. Yes, that that I I don't really know if it if it was there, but it, well, we were to a, we went to the museum in 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 from from this uh, like el, el museo de la de la de la guerra y todas esas cosas in el mozote. So we were there. So we were camping there, and I studied in National University, right? So it was a study trip. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, I think um, the museum is located in Perkin. Perkin, that's the name. Perkin, that's the place. That's the place. Another beautiful place to 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 do camping. To go camping. Go ah, camping. To go camping is in in La Unión, in in the Conchagua. Uh, in Conchagua, Conchagua yeah. Volcano. In oh, the nice. spirit of the mountain. I want to go there. That's oh, so beautiful. It's a beautiful place when there. there. Okay, in the, many of the activities, for example, eh, outdoor activities that end up in ING, todas las actividades que terminan en ING, que son actividades al aire, li al aire libre, como skating, skiing, camping, swimming, you use go, go swimming, go camping, go fishing, right? So you use with go, you don't say do. And for example, eh, todos los que implican eh, actividades de deporte con pelota, so you say, play. And you say, I played soccer. I play basketball. The piano? Uh, that's another thing. But those are abilities. Okay. For abilities and instruments, you say play. You don't say I touch. Okay. You, I can do, I can say I touch it because I cannot play it. No le saco nada de música. 
but <laughs> it's okay. I can say that I touch the piano because I can just like touch the instrument, but I cannot actually play it. When you play it is when you actually take out music from it. So that is like a tip that I leave you there. Ese es un extra que les regalo ahora. So, uh, because he says, he said here that they uh, went fishing. Por eso aquí dice, I went fishing. Porque el pasado de go is went, right? I went fishing. That's why you have here in the third column. Sí, aprendiendo con Nati en un minuto. That's good. <laughs> Thank you, teacher, for a good teacher. trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you see? I, I that, that's why I, I always say that I like to teach students the way that I learned. Yo siempre voy a ver una manera fácil de aprenderme las cosas. So I like to do that with students as well. So uh, about Kelly, she had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents <clears throat> parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. How many past tenses do you have in this paragraph? ¿Cuántos past tense podemos encontrar en este párrafo, people? We have one here. Went. Went. Got. Uh -huh, got. Married. Mm, okay. Got no. married is one phrase. In this yeah. case, got is la, la. Ah, okay. Uh, really, yeah, yeah. When again. When. Good. Uh -huh. Looked. 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 Uh, war. 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 Uh, served. Served. Very yeah. good. Ready? Mm -hmm. Only that. Only that, right? Yes. Because it, when you say, I am really happy for her. That simple present, right? Estoy muy, muy feliz por ella. Because that, that it's an ongoing action. And I really like her husband, right? What about this one on Robert? Had. I had, right? Y si se fijan, este es el verbo principal. I had an awful weekend, right? It says I mm. is a subject. And is an auxiliary. Awful is an adjetivo. And weekend hey. is a complement. So, yes. my friends and I went to a rock concert. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Went. Went. went 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 very good i uh, had a terrible time right i had uh, a terrible time uh, took. it took <laughs> it took three hours to drive there the main verb of the sentence is the one in past okay yes. y el verbo principal es el que está en pasado. it took three hours porque to drive is the infinitivo okay uh -huh. i didn't i didn't, didn't right didn't in, and it's the auxiliary in negative, right? And the verb that is like is in normal form. And after the concert, ended. Ended. ended Indeed. Or car broke, broke down. Broke down. Uh, yeah. broke, broke down, it's a um, compound verb. Okay. Este es un verbo eh, compuesto, but the, the first compuesto. one is the one that it's in past. Se arruinó, se descompuso. I. Called. I called my parents. My parents. And they, and they came. Came, came mm. and, and got us. Got came us. and got us. Right? They came and got us. Right? We finally, finally got, got, got home, home at 10 in the morning. I am so morning. tired. Tired is not in past. Tired is an adjective. An adjective. Okay. The next one. Uh, I had an interesting weekend. An interesting weekend. I went, I went camping. camping for the first my time. Friends my friends took, took me. me. Took me. We oh. we left on Sunday. Left. <laughs> Everything is like oh, mm. <laughs> my friends took me. It doesn't me llevaron, yeah. right? We left on Saturday and drove, drove. drove. to the campsite. To the campsite. First. Uh, we put, put up, put up, mm. we put up, put up right? Put up. The past tense of put, put is up. put, it doesn't change. We put up the tent, put it's up, up, it's one word, put up the tent, then we built, built, built. a fire, built. Cook, cook, cook. cook dinner and told, and told, told, told stories. stories. Okay, if well, you have yeah. a sequence of events, you have to separate them with commas. 
Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> For example, if you want to tell me five activities that you did in the morning, you say, I oh, teach it in the morning. I drove my car. I arrived late. I uh, drank some coffee. I, I sent reports, early. right? I got up. Well, if you got up early, that's, that's extra, right? But if you don't want to repeat today in the morning, today in the morning, okay. today in the morning. So you use different activities separate with commas. Don't abuse, okay? No abusen. No me van a decir, teacher, I got up early. I drank coffee. I, I cook. I sent. And y ahí me van quitando el, el, el sujeto, el verbo. Y ahí solo me van diciendo los, las actividades. No, right? So in this case, she used three. And that's okay. We got up early on, sad, on Sunday and went One. fishing. Fishing. Went fishing. I caught a fish. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a, le a lot. A lot. A lot. Right? So that is the magic of the past tense. As you can see, it is not really complicated when you pay attention to the details, right? Fíjense en la oración. Fíjense que no tengan dos verbos en la misma oración. Fíjense que no estén haciendo pasado un adjetivo, por ejemplo. Que no quieran hacer pasado una, un noun. So, weakened. Okay. That would be awful, right? Sure. Magdiel, yes? ¿Cómo hacemos en esos casos que los verbos irregulares son iguales en presente, pasado y participio? Or well, the context. Yeah, depending on the context that you have. As uh, something that I, I always recommend with the irregulars is that you practice and recognize them. That I, I show you a category, right? Creo que se las envié en la página, que hay una categoría que son alrededor de 15, los que son iguales. So you have to recognize them. You have to recognize them. And if I am not mistaken, let me just go back here. Creo que aquí mismo los tengo. Let's, let me just go back on this ones. Ay, sorry for all the mess here. Here, here you have. In this category, you can find all the verbs, the irregular verbs that are exactly the same. And in most of them, the ones that change, it's for example, in the case of read, that you say read, 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 that changes the pronunciation, but not the written form, right? So uh, it is a matter of kind of identifying these ones that are the ones that are similar. Si te fijas son, quiero ver, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Those are the only ones that are similar. And all the other ones are, they, they have sure. their specific form. Yes? But, uh, uh, I don't know if, but I identified in that case, when you are speaking in participle, you have to use the auxiliary verb have or had right? Ah, yeah, yes, yes. In, in, for example, in uh, present perfect and in other ones you are going to use have or have, but so that's like, a, like an extra, right? Because you are talking about something different, right? If you say, for example, I had gone, you, yo he ido. Ya, ya estamos hablando como en otro tiempo, right? Que estamos haciendo como una, como un back in time, right? Yo lo he hecho, yo lo he leído, he comido, he probado, right? But that's another story. That is not past, but is uh, past perfect. Ya lo he hecho y probablemente lo hago otra vez en mi vida. That's the difference with simple past, right? Simple past is like, I went to the movies. Ya fui al, al cine ayer. And we closed the activity, right? I had gone to the movies three times this month. He ido al cine tres veces este mes. Y quien quitaba ya una cuarta. Right, so that's the the main difference here. But Magdiel, according to your question, <laughs> ocho, ocho mes. <laughs> okay, el revolucionario sigue. Okay, en pie de lucha. Identify them. Okay, Magdiel, eh, lo mejor que podemos hacer es como reconocer estos 14 que son como los que no cambian, and try to to make them your friend. Okay, teacher. That's, that's, that's why I separate them in categories for you to have them there and for you to, to, uh, to make it easier to identify them. 
Okay, let's go back to where we were. Chan, chan, chan. We were on the reading, right? I am jumping back and forth on my presentation. Here, there you go. Okay, okay. And here we go. Okay, so uh, I need three volunteers. One for Kelly, one for Robert, and one for Erin. Manitas arriba, please. I need three volunteers. One for Kelly, one for Robert, and one for, thank you very much, I got my three. Blanca, Ellen Nelson, and Aleida. Blanca, which one do you want? The first one. Kelly, Ellen Nielsen. Robert. Robert and Aleida, Eric. Okay, <laughs> so Blanca, go ahead. Okay, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served, served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. The observation that I have is served. 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 Okay, Sorry. pero es entendible. Por decir good parents, <laughs> serve was difficult. So my their parents served. Thank you. And now Robert. Okay, um, I had an awful weekend. My friend and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert end, our car broke down. I called my parents, parents, sorry. And they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I'm so tired. Excellent job. So you say ended, ended. After the concert ended. Ended. Okay. okay, and I called my parents. That was good. And they came and got us. Very nice job, Ellen Nielsen. And Aleida, please. I've had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Very nice job. Very nice job. So you say, I had an interesting, an interesting. I had an interesting weekend. I had an interesting weekend. Very good job. Right. An interesting weekend. Okay. Mr. Hernan, go ahead. Um. Ter terrible time or ah it is terrible terrible, terrible. let's see where is it ah. decimos terrible uh -huh. in, in english you say where well, i had a terrible time in spanish you say like ay la pasamos fatal terrible. terrible horrible so i had a terrible time o sea que nosotros hemos adoptado esa palabra o sea yes many indeed taxi hotel <laughs> Yeah, there are many. It, it's because, for example, English has a lot of words that they adopted from French. And we have a lot of words in Spanish that they have adopted in English. So it is like a here a, a give and take from all the languages. The only thing is the pronunciation, right? A terrible time. Okay, I had a terrible time. It terrible took, time. Terrible I had time. a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. It's like, para nada. I didn't like the music at all. Tell me something that you don't like at all. Something that you don't like at all. For example, I- Work. <laughs> something extra that you like. That's work like, extra hours. Ah, uh, to work extra hours, right? I don't like to work extra hours at all. 
I don't like to um, to wake up in the middle of the night at all because I cannot go back to sleep. Me too. Yeah, I, I hate that. I hate it. For example, if at one in the morning there is a, a tremor or a shake, I don't sleep anymore. It's like, ah, va. Gracias por quitarme el sueño. And I end up all grumpy all the day. <laughs> what is something that you don't like at all? I don't like to be in a crowded uh, place. Ah, yeah, me too. <laughs> That's why I don't go to San Martin's Arbolito. <laughs> I love it and, and I like it, but I hate to be in crowded places, right? I don't like that at all. Rafael, what is something that you don't like at all? Alexander and then Antonio. In the last class, uh, I I remember the, the, the word to say fila. I don't- Ah, need... to stand in line. I hate standing in a line. Yes. <laughs> I prefer uh, no no eat or no enter for a place, but I don't like it. You you prefer not to eat than standing yes. in line. <laughs> yes. Yes, I I remember. I just remember when they said that they were going to give the three hundred dollars for the COVID. Do you remember that there were lines? of people and I said you <laughs> COVID everywhere I said I hate to stand in line I, I don't I like don't it. I don't like noisy neighbors yes uh, well I cannot say it's anything. terrible yeah indeed <clears throat> indeed it's horrible in some cases I am the noisy neighbor it is I like, like ah, the neighbors. <laughs> I don't like the neighbors at all yeah. <laughs> I need one, man, one manzana of <laughs> yeah that, that would be so nice that would be so nice I remember one time I had the opportunity to travel to Alabama and the house is in the middle and there is like one complete block that there's nothing around and I think that's a perfect house for me it sounds great <laughs> it sounds fantastic Rafael Antonio what is something that you hate or that you don't like at all? Only listen, teacher. My 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 signal is more is much smaller. Ah, my signal is bad. You say. Ah. Yeah, it's only, only listen. I I don't know. Okay, okay. Perdonado por esta vez. Okay, Aleida, your hand is up. O solo se quedó la manita arriba. Solo se quedó arriba, teacher. It's no okay. Sé, I don't like at all wake up early, teacher. <laughs> I don't like waking up early at all. Jose Luis, what is something that you don't like? In my case, I don't like waiting people. You don't like waiting? Waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, waiting for people. Waiting for, waiting people. for people. Yes, that is something that I really hate. I hate Andrea, that. Andrea, Sofia, what is something that you hate? Andrea, Sofia. Hello. Sí, teacher. What is something that you hate? Mm. I... Uh... I hate when the teacher asks me questions <laughs> in the middle of the class. Um... <laughs> I can take it, don't worry. Okay, um... Mm. I, I wake up very very early when you wake up very early right when yes. I am when I am in the middle of my movie and the teacher interrupts <laughs> okay I accept it don't worry it's okay thank you Andrea thank you very much so yeah that's something that we really hate I really really hate I hate and I and I do agree with Jose Luis 
I hate to wait for people. Mostly when they say, I am very close. I am very, I am arriving and they are at home. Five minutes, they say, and it's 30 minutes. The la I think the longer that I wait is 10 minutes. If you don't appear, I leave. When once is driving, it's and usually. It's, it's usual. So like, I am, I am arriving, right? And I say, okay, mandame ubicación. Quiero ver por donde veni. <laughs> it's like, ah, ah. <laughs> it's good advice. I, I do. I do that. Yeah. And I said, like, okay, aquí está mi, mi ubicación. Mándame la tuya. To see how much I'm going to wait. I'm very anxious. I learned no wait a person. Yeah. I, in no, that way, I yeah. wait the longest 10 minutes. Then I leave. Y llegan y me dicen, llegué y donde estás? Que no es que... I left. Yo ya me vi. I this. wait a uh, uh, friend. Four hours, one time. No, that's too much. After that, I, I, I don't <laughs> wait anybody. That's too Myra. much time. I can wait yeah. for 30 minutes, but no more than that. Because I have a problem. I when I him, arrive and, and, very and early. He said me, I need of the university and I wait. Mm -hmm. And he was, he was a friend. He was a, a, a man. Yeah. yeah. Men lied a lot. <laughs> yeah. oh, teacher, really? What? What are you talking about? about me? Because maybe if it was a girl, a girl, a friend, oh. <laughs> you could have waited, but nah. He was my friend. Yeah, I but was like. But he, he had my money. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's why I, I, I can yeah. wait, I can wait but, longer. <laughs> but, but, eso me salió caro. <laughs> yeah, I think it was more expensive to wait, yeah. right? It was more expensive to wait than the actual amount of money that you were going to receive, right? Creo que Pero, salió mucho más caro. But yeah, money is money. De eso jamás esperé a nadie. I know, yeah. I, I, would, I would never do for, it again. For the next time, uh, he can ask for uh, a wire transfer and uh, no yeah. wait yeah. a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, 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 don't don't accept accept transfer uh, a transfer uh, and that's it. Transfer that, the money. I am I only waiting uh, fifty minutes if important. If not important, five minutes and <laughs> left. And then you leave, right? I, I know. Yeah, yeah I, I don't like to wait. So we agree on that. So those are the things that we hate, right? That, that we hate. We agree that we all hate different things. Good. So here, let's go back here. And we're going to work a little bit on grammar. Okay, we're going to work a little bit on grammar. And let's do the easy ones first. Okay, here we go. We're going to work a little bit on grammar. And for this one, I need you to uh, check out the simple present form of the questions of the sentences. And I need you to help me create them in past tense. So try to get at least three or four and create them on your notebook. Okay, then we're going to share them. Escojan tres o cuatro and create them in past in your notebook, please go ahead. Choose three or four. I am going to call the attendance, continue working. And when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? While you work, I am going to call the attendance. Okay, okay. Aleida, nos carga dando vuelta. I am present, teacher. No, no, yeah, but I was looking at your camera and it was like, ooh, oh. <laughs> like a kaleidoscope. <laughs> Me sentía dentro de un caleidoscopio. <laughs> it was so cool. I like it. Okay, I'm going to start with you indeed. And here we go. Today is Thursday, the 24th. Aleida Esmeralda. Here, teacher. Andrea Sofía. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo. 
Carlitos. Ah, Carlitos, I remember. Don't worry, present. Cesar Amaya. Present, yeah. Ellen Nielsen. Mr. Ellen Nielsen. Present, present. Thank you very Hello. much. Hello. Yeah, I can I can see you a little bit blue. I don't know why. No sé si solo yo lo veo azul a Ellen Nielsen o todos lo vemos azul. Ayúdenme. <laughs> Eric José. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio. Sí, sí, present teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Horacio. Hey, Horacio José. Where are you? Sí, extraño esa, la voz de Horacio. ¿eh? No, no está. ¿Qué ha pasado? Eh, José Luis. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco, Juan Francisco, tampoco está Juan Francisco, miren, se me ha perdido. Carla Guadalupe. Present teacher. Nelson Alberto. Present teacher. Paola Elena. Paolita. ¿Qué es que me le ha pasado a la Paolita? Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio. Raúl Ernesto, creo que Rafael se me acabó congelado. Present teacher. Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Present teacher. Jasmine Elizabeth. Present teacher. And Magdi Alessau. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Do you have your sentences, people? Let's see. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Ellen Nielsen, help me with your sentences, please. Okay. Uh... Did she exercise? Did she exercise? Very good. Uh, Magdiel, give me one. They played video games. They played video games. Very good. Raul? Uh, did they drive? Did they drive? Very good. Did they drive? Jasmine? Jasmine, give me one of your sentences, please. Um, I forget his name. What is the past tense of forget? Forgot. Forgot, forgot. right? I forgot. His name. I forgot his name. Corrijamos la ahí, eh, Jasmine. Nelson, give me your sentence. He knew the answer. He knew the answer. Very the answer. good. He knew the answer. Alexander, Rafael? Um, Stewart lived in Vancouver. Very good. Yeah, ya le estaba cambiando el nombre igual a mi hijo. <laughs> my, my song is Alexander Mauricio, right? So, Alexander Rafael. Rafael Antonio, go ahead. Ya, yeah, se me queda Rafael ahora. Ay, no problem, lo, teacher. Lo I perdón. like Alexander. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's my favorite name. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a beautiful name. Aleida. Do you hate cooking? <laughs> Do you hate cooking? Yes. Uh, no, I love cooking. It's one of my favorite, right? I hated cooking, right? Ellen Nielsen. Give me another sentence. Okay. Um, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Carla Flores, give me one sentence. Um, no entendí, teacher, lo que íbamos a hacer, la verdad. You need to make the sentences in simple present, 
in past tense. And you have two examples there. Ahí tenía dos ejemplos. Tenemos las oraciones en simple present. Las tenemos que pasar a pasado. So the first one says, he goes to bed early. En pasado es, he went to bed early. Que pasamos el verbo go a pasado. It's went. He went to bed early. And in the second one, we don't like onions. Esa es negativa, pasado. We didn't like onions. En number six, ok. Hagamos el número seis. ¿Cuál es el verbo de los número seis? Played. Played. Very good. What is the past tense of play? Played. 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 Right? They played video games. Entonces, escoja una, Carlita, hágala en pasado y ya regreso a preguntar, ¿ok? Eh, Blanca Alejandra, give me one. Did they drive? Did they drive, José Luis? Uh, they didn't study history. They didn't study history. Very good. Eh, César Amaya, give me one. Uh, Stewart lived in Vancouver. Stewart lived in Vancouver. Sofía, give me one. Andrea Sofía, give me one, please. Number four. Uh -huh. um, that's... When? What is the past tense of uh, in, in questions? What is the auxiliary that you use at the beginning? As did. Did she exercise? Did she exercise? Very good. Wilbur, give me one. He knew the answer. He knew the answer, right? Carla, do you have yours? <laughs> okay, I will give you more examples. Maybe these ones are easier. Le vamos a poner otras aquí. Let's see if these ones are easier. What is the past tense of work? Worked, right, with T. Jenny worked at a hotel. What about number 12? Todos, hagámosle. What is number 12? Did you swim? Did you swim? Very good. Number 13? We didn't like the movie. We didn't like the movie. Number 14? Where did you live? Where did you live? Number 15? He didn't drink. Tea. He didn't drink tea. Very good. Number 16. They started class at 8 o'clock. They started class at 8 o'clock. Very good. What about number 17? Did he eat breakfast? Did he eat breakfast? Did he? Uh -huh. Did he eat? Cuando ocupamos los auxiliares, did or didn't, el verbo es normal. Right? Normal. Did he eat breakfast? Number 18. Didn't I, didn't I, didn't I, didn't I didn't run fast. I didn't run fast. Very good. Number 19. He had a car. He had a, he car. Had a car. And number 20? Did you enjoy sports? Did you enjoy sports? Right? Did you enjoy sports? What about this one? How, uh, what type of sentences can you create with the action that's, that these people did yesterday? What actions do you have on the pictures? Breathe. Aha, uh -huh. so you say she? Carol she was reading a book. Okay, you say Carol was reading a book, you have Okay, you have Carol was reading a book. And if you want to make it in simple past, so you say Carol. Carol. Read. Read. Carol yeah. read a book. Yeah. What else did she do? ¿Qué más hizo? Además de leer un libro. Carol read. Carol. Map. Cleaned. Right? Cleaned. Cleaned. Cleaned the house. What about what else did she do? Teacher. Clean. Yes, teacher. Can we have a teacher? 
Yeah. Me, teacher. Uh huh. And when she is, it's correct. Say clean up too. She clean up the house. That's good. It's correct. It is the same form. Okay. Right. Thank it you. and then you use the compound verb. Right. You can say she cleaned the house or she cleaned up the house. The same meaning. What other activities did she do? She listened music. She listened music or she listened to. She listened to music and she? Music. Cook. She cooked. Very good. What about Max? What did he do? He, he played, played golf. golf. He played golf. What else? He walked, he walked he walked on the street he walked on the street he he watched television he watched, he watched television and he cooked he cooked, he cooked. very he well cook he cooked tell me one thing that one person did but the other one didn't do one thing that one of them did but the other one didn't do played golf Ajá, uh -huh. but who didn't? ¿Quién lo hizo? ¿Quién no lo hizo? Play golf. Eh, Carol didn't do. Okay, very good. So you say Max played golf, but Carol didn't. Max played Max golf, played golf but, but Carol didn't. 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 But Carol didn't. Very good. Give me another comparison. Max walked in the park. But Carol didn't. Okay, Carol didn't walk in the park, right? Max walked in the park. Very good. Give me one thing that Carol did, but Max didn't. Carol listened uh, music, to music, but Max didn't. Very good. Listened. You say listened. Uh, listened. Okay, listened to music. Okay. Carol read a book. But Max didn't. Very good. So you can say another type of comparison that you can use. Carol listened to music, and uh, but Max watched TV. So you can use but. I mean to contrast that one was doing something, but the other one was doing something different. So good examples. Here you have the verbs: read, cleaned, played, walked listened, cooked, and watch. Those are the verbs that we have in this exercise. So I have a short conversation here. I need Aleida and Carla to help me. Okay. Uh, I am Laura. Yes. Laura. 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 <laughs> Laura, como la Laura. <laughs> Laura. So did you go anywhere last summer? Carlita? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Very good. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you go hiking there? Uh, no, no, we didn't actually. We rode horse and we also went to ride via water rafting on the Colorado rivers. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, I, we did. We had a great time. Very good, very good job. It was nice, I didn't read it. You read it all, that was very good. We went white water rafting. We went white water rafting, okay? Nelson and Jose Luis, go ahead. Okay. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I uh, went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Uh, really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Uh, did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses and we also went by water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Whoa.
turn on your microphone. I was saying goodbye to Mr. Raul that had an emergency. I like the extra, extra expression that you had. Wow, did you have fun? <laughs> yeah. Me sentí como el que llega contando a, a la empresa. Mira, es que sí, compré un carro nuevo. Wow, carro nuevo. Wow. <laughs> so you were like, wow, yeah. I believe it, right? Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time, right? Tell me, where did uh, Laura went for vacation? Where did Laura uh, go for vacation? Where so did, did you go? No, no, no. You were somewhere? I am asking you a question. Where did Laura go on vacation? Oh, she went, she went to Arizona. Laura went to vacation Arizona. In she Grand went, Canyon. okay, she went to Arizona, specifically she, to the Grand Canyon, the Grand Canyon. Uh, did she like it? I think it's yes. Erica. Yeah. Yeah, it. Laura didn't say uh -huh. anything. Yeah. Okay. Laura, Laura is the person who is asking to Erica. Uh -huh. yes. And Erica yes. went to to, to the Arizona, Grand the Grand Canyon. Canyon with her sister. Very good. So you see, that is critical thinking. You are actually reading and analyzing. You are not just repeating. Yo le repetí la pregunta. Tres veces le repetí la pregunta. And you say, ah, to, to Arizona, teacher. But then you analyze and you say like, no, but she didn't mention it. She didn't say it. That's a good practice for me to see if you are just repeating or if you are just analyzing or if you are actually understanding what you are doing. Okay. Ustedes subieron un peldaño aquí de entendimiento. You are actually understanding what you are reading. Hay muchos estudiantes que solo repiten. Como que fueron un periquito, right? I went to Arizona last summer in the Grand Canyon. Did you like it? Yes, no. And Laura. They, with Laura's, like, like Laura's. But it's good. Laura didn't mention. The one that is explaining is Erika. Erika is telling that she went to the Grand Canyon, that she went to Arizona and everything. Who did she go with? ¿Con quién fue? Who with did she sister. go with, with her sister, sister with right? With her sister. With her sister. What activities did they do there? What activities did they do there? She rode horses. She rode horses. Good. What else? And she went white water rafting. rafting. White water on rafting. The Colorado River. Okay. White water rafting is the one that you have on the picture. Esa que tienen en la foto aquí, la que pueden ver en la foto ahí, that is white water rafting. Ah, when you're going rapidos? down, the, yes. When you are going down uh, in the rivers, right? Here in El Salvador, all our rivers are that crazy, so you can do it. We don't have white water, but you can do a little bit of rafting, right? Que va a quedar en medio de alguna piedra? Maybe. Black water rafting. <laughs> black water rafting. We can do black water rafting here in El Salvador. But in Apusunga, eh, that was a perfect eh, river to practice. Yeah. Rafting. White water. Yes. Yes. It was a very good place to do it. Well, many, many of the rivers in El Salvador are very beautiful. I don't like rivers, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the feeling of yes. the floor. Yeah. It's like, no. El, 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 la sensación del, de la tierra y de la cosa de los ríos. I don't like it. <laughs> so, but the, it is a very good place to do something like this, right? To do white water uh, rafting. So, I have here a couple of questions, right? What is the first example question that I have for this uh, grammar part? What is the first question, people? We have it right here. Did you have a good summer? Did you have a good summer? And what is the answer? 
Yes, I did. I had a great summer. What about the next one? Did you play? Did you, you play, play what? Did you play volleyball? Did you play volleyball? And it says, no, you I didn't. Played I played tennis. I played tennis. What about okay. the next one? Did Erica, Erica like her, her vacation? Her vacation? Did Erica like her vacation? vacation? Vacation. Very good. Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. And the last one. Did Erica, did Erica and, and, her sister and her sister Colorado. go to Colorado? Go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona, right? Arizona. They went to Arizona. Well, so we're going to stop for a moment in the grammar. And I am going to ask you, please, to uh, work in groups. We are going to work in small groups. And we are going to share one of the answers from uh, the questions that I was sharing with you before. So you have them on your, on your phone. And I need you to choose one. I need you to choose one of these answers because you are going to go and share it with your group, OK? Choose one and give an answer of this question in your group. So please tell the group, uh, well, I chose this one and I'm going to tell you about this one, okay? We are going to have groups of four so you can all share. Vamos a tener grupos de cuatro para que todos puedan hablar y practicar in these five to seven minutes that we are going to be working, okay? Tienen las preguntas en el WhatsApp también para que puedan escoger una and give the answer, okay? Let's go to the groups and do this. Go ahead. There you go. Thank you. I accept my invitation. You can go to the groups. Thank you, thank you. Jasmine, accept my invitation, please. And Blanquita. Thank you. Blanquita, did you receive my invitation to go to the groups? Blanquita. Hello, hello, Blanquita. <clears throat> hello, Blanquita, can you listen to me? Like waves, like you were using waves. <laughs> yeah, like waves. Yeah. Okay. Sorry for you. No, uh, I am happy. Okay. I like <laughs> that. Is that is good because you are going to get, take a uh, gold dress this night. I think. Yeah. Okay, I think everybody has the, the, the questions. Which questions are you going to answer? ¿Cuál van a escoger? Okay. So, uh, let me see the questions. I am going to tell you about what did you eat for lunch yesterday? That will be my question for this group. What did you eat for lunch yesterday? You see, yesterday I had to I had to go to the bank and when I was coming back from the bank, I found a uh, panes chucos carreton on the street. <laughs> and I said, "Hey, panes chucos," I said. And then I said, no, but no, I am not going to buy because I mean, they are from the street and everything. But then I said, Nati, you went to National University. You always bought panes chucos, right? You are not going to die. And, and I bought two. 
Spanish chucos for lunch yesterday. And they were so good that I enjoyed them a lot. So that's what I had for lunch yesterday. That's my, my participation in this group. What about you? What is your question? ¿Qué pregunta van a responder ustedes? A ver. Choose one. In my case, teacher, uh -huh. the question that I'm going to answer is, what did you do yesterday? Uh -huh. uh, okay, yesterday in the morning, I went for my nephew because I was his babysitter again. <laughs> and we have a, so we went to Metro Centro because I bought a, a new plant. <laughs> and went uh, with him to the Dollar City. <laughs> the Dollar City, imagine that. <laughs> with a, with yeah. a little with boy. With a little boy in yeah, Dollar for, City. Yeah, for eight. And, and oh, um, auntie, auntie, this toy is be beautiful. This ball, I want this ball. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, but at the end, I bought a book uh, to colorear. A coloring book, uh huh. A, a coloring book, and uh, he was happy with that. That's and so at nice. The, at the end of the morning, uh, we uh, came back to the home. Okay, okay good. <laughs> and you color. That's so nice. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Uh huh. Who's next? Andrea, Hernan, and Rafael. Solo uno, solo uno. <laughs> Hernan, yesterday, go ahead. Yesterday morning, visit the doctor. You, um, you visited the doctor, uh huh? Visit the doctor. And also, working. I work. You say I work. Work, okay. I work, see. I work. And. <laughs> Let me see, you say. Ve para no decir quiero ver. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> um, another day. <laughs> okay, it was another day. It was just another day. Good. Good, good. Yeah. I mean, it is it is a little bit complicated to start thinking in past, right? Ya cuando los paso a que empiecen a pensar en pasado, it's a little bit challenging, it's a little bit complicated, but it's not impossible. Think about your sentence, what did you do, and transform that into past tense, and then you are going to build it up, right? Siempre búsquenle como, ¿cuál es el verbo de la oración que quiero expresar? Ah, es este. So, I worked yesterday. I went to the doctor. I cooked breakfast right and then you start creating your information andrea go ahead and i'm going to check on your friends i will come back in a moment okay we're in, in we were in, in races <coughs> yeah, i i was uh, running he too and but uh, uh, we chocamos no sé cuál es la palabra chocaron en el carro no uh, i i i I'm I'm explaining them uh, when I was child. Ah, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, and when uh, and we and we when when we were in a rest in a in a school, uh -huh. I was I was in the first in a in a, in the first grade. Okay. And, a, uh -huh. and, a, and another boy he was in second grade, uh, and so we were running and we uh, chocamos la otra esa palabra no sé cuál. Crash. Okay. Yeah, we crash. I mean, okay. we crash. Okay, we, we crash, and so that that was my first fight. Uh, that's that's what I said. So uh, the first, and you and you fight after yes. you crash. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that was curious. That was curious. Okay, uh, nice, nice. So after mm -hmm. after that, you end up. Are you friends now or no? You you were enemies forever. Uh, uh, no, no, we are not enemies now. Uh, now he doesn't live here in in, in, in the in, country. In, in the country, but when we 
when we grow up, uh, we only uh, nos mirábamos uno al otro. <laughs> okay. But na, na, no pasaba nada más, eso era todo. It was just that, okay. Uh -huh. Good, good. Magdiel, you were going to tell me something? Mm, I was a introverted child. I was an introvert, you say. I was introvert. an introvert child. Child. Yes, and I, I was a, well, well, child. You were well behaved. Well behaved. Well behaved is bien portado, right? I was well behaved, you say. <laughs> good, good. I think that in my, in my father, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't yeah. Know if you say. yeah, so it's like, yeah, I was well behaved, you say. Okay, finish sharing and I will check on the last group, okay? Okay, okay thank you, teacher. Two years. Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. teacher. I am here listening on the chambers of all the groups. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so what are you talking about? About the last vacation we have. The last vacation. When was my last vacation? I know ten years that ago, feeling. Ten years ago. <laughs> no, well, well, no. I think it was last month. Yeah, last last oh. month. Yeah, September and in, in, in October that I was on the scholarship. I think it was kind of a vacation. Creo que sí. Yeah. Todo el, lo, casi los dos meses de la beca. I think it was mm. vacation for me. It was so beautiful to be traveling and to be pampered by everybody. It's like, que quiere, que le doy, que no sé qué, donde la pongo, que le gusta, everything. It was like, yeah, <laughs> everything was so special. I mean, you were like, hey, mire, que, que, que le ayudo, que le traigo, que quiere, que no sé qué, agua, soda. It was so fantastic. It was so beautiful. But okay. yeah, I think it was, that was my last yeah. vacation. It was wonderful. What about you? What was your last vacation? Uh -huh. Okay, my my last vacations were where was was where where? Where? where where okay where up um, two years ago. Uh huh. Where did yeah, you go? Two years ago, and uh, I I went to the Pital. Ah, mountain, what a beautiful place! Pital <clears throat> mountain, and it, and and it was funny because I didn't carry clothing for the cold. <laughs> and you know it was hard uh, <laughs> we really had a great time i imagine yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a very beautiful place indeed yeah, yeah when but... i went to the pizzal uh, i uh i yo ronco <laughs> i snore and very loudy oh my god uh, yes uh, and yo, no I, I, I have, oh, I have a friend uh -huh. like a girl and, and me despertaba, o sea, el tipo no podía dormir sin me despertar. Deja de roncar, me decía. Rafael está roncando. <coughs> Horrible, no me dejaba dormir. Y like... pensamos, pensamos que eran las 4 de la mañana porque estábamos súper cansados y no habíamos dormido nada. Oh. Y abro la tienda de acampar y, y veo la luna lo suficientemente alto. Eran las 10 de la noche. No, so you were just like, come on, it was just like a moment that you had to sleep. Yeah, and you say like, you were not snoring, you were protecting the group from el coco. So you I see. dream was a, a, a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible thing, come on. You were dreaming, you yeah. were protecting them. Usted dígale, yo no ronco, yo los protejo de los fantasmas y el coco. <laughs> With my snoring. <laughs> Oh my god well so it's time for us to go back my dear students let's go back to the main room finish okay, please teacher. i am going to go back there okay
Welcome back. Okay, okay, welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Jose Luis, what question did you answer? We answer a lot of questions. You answer different ones. Yes, but in my case, when I see the question you put in the WhatsApp group, I decide the, this question, let me see. Um, what was the funny movie you watched recently? Ah, what, what is it? <laughs> it was the Dos Locas en Fuga. I don't know how can I say that. I love that one, right? I love Dos Locas That's en Fuga. That's the most funny movie that I've seen. That's the, the funniest movie that you have seen. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I, I just love many movies. I just watch one. And that's one of my favorite. But I watched it yesterday that it's called Que Culpa Tiene el Niño. I don't know if you have seen it. No. Si ya la vieron. If you haven't, watch it. It's very, very fun. It, it is called Que Culpa Tiene el Niño. It is a very funny movie. And it, there is another one that it's called uh, Nosotros los Nobles. I don't know if you have seen it. No. If you haven't, write it down. No. Si no la han visto. It's a Mexican movie. Yeah, it's a Mexican movie indeed. The two of them are Mexican. But they are so funny. I, I really like Nosotros los Nobles. So, and, and for sure, right? I like many movies. I like... Uh, I like Mamayita movies. I call them like that. The Mamayita movies are the girly movies, right? Así como yo antes de ti, que no sé qué, bajo la misma luna. So, so these are like the Mamayita movies. Like the class girly. <laughs> class girly movies, right? And I force my husband to watch them. Yeah. It's like, hoy vamos a ver una Mamayita movie. And he's like, ay no. And then he's like, ¿qué pasó? <laughs> Poor your husband. Yeah, but he likes them. All of you will like them in the end. It's like, bueno, y se murió, no se murió. ¿O qué pasó? Lo mataron. No. <laughs> he gets excited <laughs> about them. So you no see. No vayas a llorar porque se murió el chucho, por favor. I do cry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Todas las razones de estar contigo. <laughs> I cry with I cry a lot with movies. My God, no, I do cry a lot with movies. And with I I cry with Dumbo people. So, what else can, can you tell me? Yeah, uh, I cry when I watch Dumbo. So, you can expect a lot from me. So, but watch those movies. That that that's a good movie, Jose Luis. The one that you recommend. That is one of the funniest movies that I have seen. I was sharing with some of the groups about my question, what did you eat for lunch yesterday? And I told them that yesterday I was coming back from, from the bank because I had to go to the bank and I saw uh, panes chucos, panes mataniños, carretón. Panes el sultán. I saw a, a panes chucos thing there and I was like, hey. <laughs> I am going to die, but Delicious. I want to, but I want to try them. <laughs> and I bought two and I was telling a group that they were so good, but so delicious. In my neighbor, in my neighbor some people tell, tell it sacapedos. <laughs> <laughs> what a funny name for the friends. Well, I call them mataniños, right? I call them mataniños, and they are so good. Yes, <laughs> Wilber is and laughing. That is true. The <laughs> first time I say, <laughs> I, I, I hear in the, this, this name, <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> yeah, it was very fun. It was very fun. Well, the, I, I, it is not because we are from Santa Ana, but the panes mataniños from Santa Ana are some of the best good, good, that I have good. tried. Yeah. It is not because I am from Santa Ana, but they are the best that I have tried. So that's what I was sharing. What is another question that you chose, people? What was another question that you chose? Uh, otra de las favoritas que escogieron? I heard about childhood. Escuché a más de alguno que estaba platicando de la, de la infancia. About, it's like, no. 
Were you well behaved? Were you a well behaved child? It's like, hmm, te portaba bien, eras un niño bien portado. And many of you say like, yes, I was, right? I was well behaved. Obviously. Everything. Obviously, micro obviously. So you have it. <laughs> so here, uh, the last part of the manual that we have, that it's the last part of unit number four, it's another conversation, right? Using the verb to be about spare parts. I just remember Alexander when when I I read this conversation. So like, did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was seventy eight dollars. Okay, I need the evaluation. It says, yes, I am sharing it. Good. I need the evaluation of the product of the new product. That's right. I it will be ready for tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. So in this case, as you can see, we have the practice of the verb to be in past. So the last section that we have for uh, tomorrow, Friday, and also for Monday is the past tense of be. This is what we're going to be doing. And we have a final conversation for it to practice and the final exercises that are going to be based on grammar. This is something that we're going to be doing tomorrow. Please, people, if you can advance on the platform with this short exercise in past, do it because we are going to be closing that stage on Monday. Okay, I am going to call out your name on the attendance and you can go to sleep when you listen to your name. Okay, so uh, time flies when you're having fun. Okay, el tiempo vuela cuando nos divertimos. And I just was like, what? It's time to go. I said, Jesus Christ. So here we go. Miss Aleida Esmeralda Amaya. Present teacher. Have a beautiful night, Aleida, and I will see you tomorrow. Andrea Thank Sofia. Tomorrow. Present teacher. Have a beautiful night. Blanca Alejandra. Present teacher. Good night. Have a good night. Carlos Eduardo. Have a good night, Carlitos. I hope you feel better tomorrow. Cesar Amaya. Present teacher. Have a beautiful night, Ellen Nielsen. Good one. Have a good night, Eric Jose. Present teacher. Good Thank night. you. Have a beautiful night, Hernan Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a good night, Horacio Jose. Didn't come, Jose Luis. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Francisco Salmerón. He didn't, I didn't see Juan Francisco. Carla Guadalupe. Present teacher. Have a beautiful night. Nelson Alberto. Present teacher. Have, have a, a good, good night. night. Paola Elena didn't come. Rafael Alexander. Have a beautiful Present night. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. Raul that had to leave. Wilber Alberto, today is your one-on-one, -on -one, remember? Okay, okay. We're staying for a couple of minutes the, here. Jasmine, have a beautiful night. And Magdiel, Esau, thank you. Have a wonderful Present night. Teacher. Thank you. Have, have a good night. night. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you, Blanquita. Thank you, Magdiel. And Wilbur, thank you very much for staying with me. In this couple of minutes, we're going to stay around five minutes uh, together. So, Wilbur, the purpose of this um, little meeting that we have at the end of the class, and okay. this, this is like a personal service for each of you, for me to know how do you feel in classes? What is your opinion about uh, the development that we have had? Uh, how do you feel personally? And what are some areas of the language that you need to work on? Okay, uh, first, uh, this model was uh, had been interesting for me because um, it was uh, no has been a, a feedback uh, about the other models. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, this this was a like I said a, a feedback uh, and it was interesting. Um, I had I have uh, uh, I had to work in in one topic. It's about uh, 
I don't know the name, but uh, is uh, the topic on in and at ah, when I, uh -huh. uh, but when I say when I say the, the date, for example. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I I don't know, but but when I say Como lo digo en español? Si yo digo eh, en 1990 y tanto, pues para mí es un mm -hmm. año, ¿verdad? Es el año, 365 días. Uh -huh. Pero, but in English, I say in, eh, but in is dentro, o sea, eh, de, de, un, de un pequeño pedazo. Yes. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? But when I say, eh, eh, he's at her, at her home, uh -huh. he's home, he, at uh, at, uh, for me, it's uh, in, in a place uh, longer or, or big. Yes. Yeah, so uh, that's the, uh, eso me confunde. Eso es todo lo que va a <laughs> Ok, eh, las proposiciones, tanto de tiempo como de espacio, este, más que todo tienes que estar pendiente de qué estás hablando, right? Mm -hmm. If you are mm -hmm. talking about time, for sure, in se va a referir a, al tiempo, pues en tal año. Right. Eh, y si estás hablando de preposiciones del lugar y decís in, te vas a referir a dentro de. So mm -hmm. it, it changes, right? It is the same thing, but in some cases it changes the, the use of it. And sí. here I am going to send you a picture on the chat for you to have it. Se la voy a enviar okay. ahí al chat para que les quede como la, la, los dos usos that we can use. In for time and in for location. You say in England, in El Salvador, in my neighborhood. Right? So you say in Santa Ana, but you can say in 1996, in July, in two weeks, right? Lo podemos ocupar para ambas, ambas, eh, ambas fuentes. On, por ejemplo, lo ocupamos para on Monday, on Tuesday, on Friday, on my birthday. Y también podemos decir on the weekend, on uh, Arnulfo Romero Street, right? So in at, you can say at seven in the morning, at 12, and you can also say at the store, at the school, at the university. Okay, ahí primero te tenés que enfocar y saber de qué estás hablando. Si estás hablando de tiempo o de lugar. Eh, yes. No sé si ya viste la imagen que te envié ahí en sí. el chat. So yeah. it has the two forms, the place mm -hmm. and the time. And it uh -huh. all depends on what you are talking about. Okay. The context is the most important thing. So. That is one. And about, in general, about uh, the language, what do you consider is the most difficult part for you? Speaking, listening, reading, writing, grammar? Uh, listening. Listening. Mm, uh -huh, listening. Uh, and, uh, uh -huh. Yes. Uh, uh, sometimes, uh -huh. I, sometimes uh, 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 I get help in, in YouTube. Um, uh, some grammars. Uh, I had a, a website uh, where I look at a, a teacher mm -hmm. that that teaches uh, good topics. And it uh -huh. really it helped me. A, it, it had helped me a lot. But uh, uh, me está costando mm -hmm. uh, bastante listening. Listening. Okay. Yes. I have a very good site, and I am going to share it with all of you right now. And in this one, for example, eh, we have a lot of listening activities. I am going to send it to you right now. In this, in this site that I am going to share with you, you can find different readings, different listenings, and different exercises that you can mm -hmm. use. So it okay. is very useful because you can play it uh, when you are driving, or you can play it uh, during lunch. You can do one exercise every day, but it helps you a lot. En este sitio, en el que le voy a mandar ahorita, se la voy a, a compartir. Okay. Hay, están por niveles. Ah. Están, están por niveles eh, las, las, los listenings y ayuda un montón que usted haga todos, por ejemplo, todos los de, todos los, los niveles fáciles. Pero después mm -hmm. de que termina todos los fáciles, Pase a los eh, pre-intermediate, después pase mm -hmm. a los intermediate, después pase a los advanced. Pero cada ejercicio, ahí donde, donde en el sitio que le mando, cada okay. ejercicio tiene 
otros ejercicios. So you have the listening exercise and the listening exercise has extra questions and conversations that you can use with mm -hmm. the exercise. So I send it to you. I send you the easy ones okay, on, I, the, I have, on the chat. Okay. Yeah, and as yeah, you I can think, see, I have, there are many for easy, right? Yes, uh, I, I, I'm watching now. Yes, uh, so you I, can you can use it. Okay. Por eso me gusta esta, este momento del one on one, porque ahí digo yo, va, usted tiene estas necesidades, aquí está esta medicina, right? That you mm -hmm. can use sí, sí. for you to practice. And it is very helpful. Uh, as you can see there, if you open it, you have like, I don't know, like. A day at school. A day at school. So start with that one. Empieza con ese, de ahí termina los ejercicios que van relacionados con ese. De ahí you continue with the, a fun day, then act, acting, school and movies, and then you go one by one. And it helps you a lot to improve your English, your vocabulary, your grammar with one exercise. So I give you this little gift, okay? Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I se lo dejo de regalo de Thanksgiving okay. for, for you Thank to you. practice. But yes. uh, I am I am very glad, Wilbur, that you have had the chance to practice during this module, that you are enjoying the classes, that you are participating, and for sure that I have the opportunity to help you and collaborate with your language, okay? Okay, teacher. So, thank you. Uh, una cosa you más, solo yeah. una cosa más. A estas alturas ya siempre ya han enviado los correos para las reinscripciones. Yes, uh, that's what we were talking about at the beginning of the class. If you haven't received the email about the information, mm -hmm. you can call tomorrow and ask uh, at Inglés Corporativo if they are going to sign you up for a different module this year or until January, okay? Okay. So please, you can send a message on the chat for the coordinators, or you can send an email or you can call them tomorrow to see. But the most, uh, I mean, what I can assure is that you are going to receive an email tomorrow or on Monday. I can type it in, in, in WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp group, there are the, all the administrators of the group mm -hmm. are the coordinators. So you can send a message to any of them. Okay. En el grupo puede ver a todos los administradores. Ahí están todos los encargados. So you can send a message to any of them for more information. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Wilbur. Have a beautiful have, night. Have and a good night, teacher. Thank you very much for staying with me. Thank okay, you. no problem. Bye it, bye. Wa it, it was a, a good move, very interesting. <laughs> you, you have not listened me to me because when all day you speak, ah, no, I, uh, <laughs> no, but when I go, no tengo esa guante que usted tiene. <laughs> but but I repeat, I, but I repeat, teacher. Yes, I, yes, I know, okay. I know, I know. And every time that I go to the groups, I go to ask you. Si se fija cada vez que entramos a los grupos, yo llego, okay, Wilbur, what happened? Tell me, Wilbur. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I use the ones that don't speak that much. <laughs> But I, I know that you are practicing. Don't worry about okay. that. Thank you, okay. Wilbur. Have a good, good night. night. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. See you.